I just have to kind of go wherever the need is. They're caring for their children and their parents, a generation balancing caregiving for everyone else and still taking time for themselves. Well, they're called the sandwich generation in their 30s and 40s, responsible for raising their kids and caring for their aging parents. And as baby boomers continue to age, more families are taking on multiple layers of caregiving. Talk about not taking anything for granted. This is how 84-year-old Charlotte Cutler and her 81-year-old sister Doris Benedini honor their lives, one moment at a time. I didn't think that I'd ever get like that. I just <laughs> think I'd ever not remember something that's important. Yeah. And now I have to write everything down and then remember where I put it. <laughs> and then <laughs> you really got a double it. whammy. <laughs> Charlotte's daughter, Anne Marie, never seems to stop. If she's not caring for her parents and her aunt, it's her full time job. And don't forget her own family. I just have to kind of go wherever the need is. You know, like if, if Doris is having a really good stable day and she's out with my mom, then that's when I might take my dad. Anne Marie isn't alone. More than 65 million Americans care for a chronically ill or aging family member during any given year. The average caregiver now is a 46 year old woman. She's had, I think, two years of education. She's full time employed. She has two kids at home, usually in high school. And Dr. Laird says the trend is getting more daunting. The number of families caring for multiple generations keeps expanding. I picture a club sandwich. You've got bread on each end and a slice of bread in the middle. The Caregiver Action Network wants caregivers to know they're not alone and offer the following advice. Seek out support from other caregivers. Take care of your own health. Accept offers of help and suggest specific tasks people can do to help. Watch for signs of depression and get professional help when you need it. Organize medical information so it's easy to find and make sure legal documents are in order. As a caregiver, you really have to stop and sort of take time for yourself. Um, a phrase I use often is take your oxygen first. Anne Marie's daughter helps her mom. They've hired someone to take over for them on the weekends so they can focus on the positive. Remember that the time may not be there for so much longer and just really think about the quality of the time and then the little things don't really matter anymore. You're terrific kids. We're blessed. Yeah, we sure are. I just wish they were mine. Yeah. You know. Well, I'm not giving them up. I know. There you go. <laughs> It's tough, though, it, it during really that time is. Period. And I don't want to make it sound like it's just people that have families. There are plenty of single people, mm -hmm. people that are not, you know. And that's even more stressful sometimes yeah. because you may exactly. not have that infrastructure or maybe a brother or sister to help you. Exactly. So, oh. yeah, it's tough. Well, now